What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to crop and resize images in Windows 11. Before we jump in guys, would you mind taking a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. You know, I'm going to simply open up a picture here of uh, my range, right? And what I'm going to do is uh, simply show you how to go ahead and crop and resize image if you so want to do that. So if you look at the top here, you have a bunch of options, right? And first option to the left is basically, let's say to edit image. So if you click on that, it will take you into more options here where you can easily go ahead and crop. So as you can see, the first option is automatically selected to crop. So if you want to crop that image, you can basically choose wherever you want and you can just crop the image to your liking to choose wherever you want in the image that you want, right, to crop. Now, once you do that, all you have to do is just simply go ahead and either click on save as a copy or you can save the current image as is, right? So once you choose in one of these, you can do that. Or you can simply choose copy to clipboard, which basically mean that you will copy this specific area that you crop and you can paste it somewhere as you so desire, right? So this is how you can easily go ahead and do that, right? So let's leave it though. Now there's also the option as well as I said to see more and you can click the option to resize image. So click the resize image here guys and you can choose to do that between two ways. You can do it by pixel or you can do it by percentage and you can basically change the width or the height to your liking. So by pixel you can go ahead and do that and also by the height you can do that. Now once you do that guys, you can always play around the quality. You can do put it to the worst quality or the highest quality if it's possible to you and you can choose to change the file type as well so you can change that to png tif and even the bmp right so once you go ahead and choose whatever you want just simply click and save and that's all there is to it you can basically choose and rename whatever you want as you like and save it to your computer here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time